Very thing, you're right. I mean, everyone has been in that position where you're either new to a city, you're new to the workforce, new to, you know, a particular profession. So I've really found people are, you know, really good that but yeah. we've all been there. And, you know, a lot of networking interactions are very similar. So once you've, you know, gone to a couple of events, you've talked to a few people, it's often, you know, very similar types of conversations you're having. But I do have some great tips that I can Please. give. So, you know, we're coming into a time, it looks like this fall, there's going to be a lot more opportunities to network in person. So biggest thing I would say first is look for opportunities to get out there. Hmm. Uh, we've all been using LinkedIn and Zoom for the last year and a half. I find people are getting Zoomed out now, but I think there's going to be a lot of um, anticipation and desire to get out to meeting people in person again. So, you know, look at um, websites like Eventbrite, you know, check the Halifax Partnership, the Chamber of Commerce, and look for events that are coming up this fall and get out there and meet people. Because oh, and the Dow. So like for the Dow people here, um, you know, look at your MCS, like watch the job boards, watch yeah. the event centers, like internally too. Absolutely. And the great thing with in-person events is often the person that you're dying to talk to, you know, through LinkedIn, you know, the president of the company, a VP, your dream, you know, kind of meeting, they're at these networking events. And you know what, when you see people at a networking event, it is 100% fair game to go up and talk to them. So it doesn't matter if you're finishing university and you want to go talk to the CEO, if you're at the same event, go do it. Mm. Um, so that's, you know, and again, people that you'd never be able to get meetings with, you know, messaging through LinkedIn. If you come out to a Halifax partnership event or a chamber event or a Dal event, you'll see them there. That's great. So yeah, don't limit yourself to just the Dal events. Go out and, you know, volunteer, go out and go to those event rights. And yeah, I like it. And then when your name does pop up later, it's not a bad thing. Cool. That's really good way to get around the system. Yeah. And I think, you know, approaching networking that taking a genuine interest in getting to know the other person is yeah. probably the biggest thing that I can stress that if you go and you meet someone new and you just put a hard push on that, you know, I'm about to graduate. I really need an interview. Are you guys? I need hard? a job. <laughs> I need a job. That's if you imagine being the other, you know, that person who's receiving that message, um, you know, the person hasn't even asked, said hello, you know, kind of gotten to know me at all. They're just saying, look, can you hire me? Yeah. And if not moving on, take it, take the approach of, you know, genuinely getting to know someone, you know, you're early on in your career, you've got a lengthy ways to go. Um, you know, look at it as building a long-term relationship. And nice. the thing with networking is, and especially in person, you never know when you're going to meet the one person who's going to make a real impact on your career. But the more people you meet, you know, we've all had that person or multiple people in our career that have made an impact. The more that you network, the greater the odds you're going to meet that person sooner than later. 